These upper mid-range CPUs perform pretty similarly in normal tasks, you know, gaming or productivity, with the 9700KF taking a slight lead in gaming and the 3700X absolutely smashing it in compute. Now I recently did a video comparing these two for those sort of normal use cases and so I thought especially since the at least at the time of filming the 9700KF is still a good £40 more than the 3700X I would take a look at their streaming performance as well and see how they compare. So it's the usual test setup here. We have three games Battlefield 5, PUBG and Fortnite all at 1080p on ultra settings using OBS to both record and stream them to Twitch with the uh, so two instances of the X264 encoder both on the very fast preset which is default in OBS uh, also, we have the uh, local quality being indistinguishable presets and the stream quality being 6,000 kilobits per second. Right, so now all of that's out of the way, let's take a look at the numbers. So starting off with Battlefield 5, we can see that while the 9700KF does a great job at the non-streaming results, it loses a full 55% of its average FPS when streaming compared to the 3700X's only 18% loss. That's a pretty big difference. Now when it comes to Battlefield Battlegrounds, there is a similar trend here, but to a lot of a, a smaller scale. The 9700KF only loses 15% of its FPS compared to the 3700X's only 6%, but of course, the 9700KF is still faster overall. When it comes to Fortnite, the trend is actually slightly reversed, although it's very close, with the 3700X losing 6% versus the 9700KF losing 4 but like I said, the 9700KF is faster overall, so do keep that in mind. To unwrap that, generally you'll see that the 9700KF gives you a bit better non-streaming performance. It's not a big difference, generally speaking, although it will depend on the game, but you do get a slight edge there. Where you're going to lose that edge is in streaming because depending on the game it can be a pretty significant FPS drop. Now the real surprise here was actually Battlefield 5 where I physically, I, I just had to record me playing Battlefield 5 on the 9700KF while streaming because the experience was quite frankly awful. It was laggy, it was choppy, it felt just like a, a really nasty experience and I would not recommend it. Uh, and so hopefully you, you've, you've been seeing that. But generally speaking, uh, th that wasn't a, an issue with Fortnite or PUBG, both of which played just as if you weren't streaming, which is always good to see. Now I specifically haven't mentioned stream quality or drop frames here because for the most part they were basically identical. No, no drop frames except for Battlefield 5 with the 9700KF, which did look a little bit choppy, but I would generally chalk that up to the game itself being pretty choppy to play, and so it's only capturing what you'd actually be seeing. The stream itself, were, or both streams were of uh, reasonable quality, and there was no real quality issues between them, and so no real point of comparison there. Overall then, I'd probably take the 3700X myself. I don't mind a little bit less initial performance for the extra compute performance you get for stuff like rendering edited versions of streams, and of course, uh, a smaller FPS drop while actually streaming too. Now with that said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one would you pick up if you are going to, and if you are going to, which one are you actually picking up? Feel free to also let me know in the poll up above as well. Now if you want to see more videos like this one, first of all let me know in the comments down below what CPUs you'd like to see tested, or even games you'd like to see tested as well. And make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so do stay tuned for those. If you want to check out either CPU, I'll leave links to them in the description down below that you can check out, that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this. You can also check out the rest of the links in the description to support the channel. There's stuff like Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other designs including some really cool ones that are coming out shortly and there's also stuff like uh, Patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly or uh, private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Bundle for cheap games to support charities too. You can also check out some more videos over there if you want to keep watching. And otherwise, that is pretty much it. Uh, like I said, if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.